Yo, what's going on guys, Miss Al here and welcome back to an another guide on installing games from the Yoyo Play Launcher on Linux and running mods for these games using the XXMI Launcher, which now has a portable version that's also tested to work on Linux. By the end of this video you'll be able to run Genshin Impact, Zenithstone Zero and Hawkeye Star Rail with mods. Note that additional steps are needed for Honkai Star Rail as it's not fully functional on Linux yet. While not covered in this tutorial, I'll provide all necessary resources to help you out. Important notes, this is the second, more advanced guide focusing on Lutris. It covers more details and works across all Linux systems, including the Steam Deck and immutable distributions. For a simpler setup, check out the bottles guide linked in the description. However, keep in mind, bottles may involve more troubleshooting down the line. If you face issues with the setup or during the Lutris installation, join our modding discord for help. If you've installed games using any third party launchers or through Steam, we won't provide any mod support for those setups due to the complexity of loading mods in the past. These guides focus on more popular tools for running Windows games on Linux, Lutris and Bottles. Let's begin. For this demo I'm using Steam Deck running SteamOS as it's one of the trickier setups to get working. For the first step, install Proton Plus and Lutris. Download Proton Plus and Lutris via Flatpak. Visit their official website and follow the instructions for your distribution. For this guide, we'll use the Discover Store. Search for Proton Plus. And install from FlatHub. Once installed, now repeat the same for Lutris. Also make sure it's from FlatHub. Once both are installed, open up Lutris and let it generate its configs. Pin it to the taskbar for easy access. Now open up Proton Plus. Ensure Lutris is listed in here and search for One Staging. Download One version 10.0 or higher. Also make sure to check the video's description for any updates. Now close out of both and reopen Lutris. Now let's configure Vine settings. Enable advanced options. Set Vine version to the one we downloaded earlier. Disable VKD3D. NV API. Disable FSR. BattleEye. And Easy Enter Cheat and click on save. If you wish to install your games other than the main partition, for example your SD card, you will need to go to settings and preferences. In global options, change the installation folder. I will set it to my SD card. Make sure to create a new games folder and select it. Don't forget to save. Now's the time to set up Hoyo Play Launcher. Download the Hoyo Play EXE from their official website. In Lutris, click on the plus button and choose install a Windows game from an executable. Name the game Hoyo Play. and select the setup file. Confirm your install. If prompted, install Wine Mono.
Now confirm the installation is in C, Program Files and HoYoPlay. Then click on Continue and Install. Install Microsoft Visual C++ when prompted. After the installation, close the launcher and choose the bottom option. Click on HoYoPlay and Lutris once, then go and click on this arrow and select Wine Tricks. Click on OK. Click on Yes or No. Now click on Install a font and click on OK. Search for core fonts, select it and confirm with OK. Once installation has finished, close out of Winetrix. Open up Lutris again and launch HoryPlay. We can see now fonts are fixed. Now's the time to install your desired games through HoryPlay. Make sure to stick to the default install location and don't change anything. Now once everything is installed, try test launching your games and see if everything works. Genshin Impact and Zenison Zero should work without any issues, Honkai Star Rail may crash though. But that's expected, we'll fix it later. Close out of Hoyoplay. Now's the time to install XXMI Launcher. Download the latest possible version of XXMI Launcher, which at this time is version 1.3.4. In Lutris, browse the HoYoPlay files. Go to Drive C, Program Files, and create a new folder. Name it XXMI Launcher. Extract XXMI Launcher into this folder. It should look like this. Close out of both file browsers. Now duplicate the HoyoPlay configuration in Lutris. And name it XXMI Launcher. Now right click to configure it. In game options we need to update the executable path. Now we need to navigate to our library folder. The default location is in Home and Games, but since we installed on an SD card, we need to go to SD, Games, Play, Drive C, Program Files, XMI Launcher, Resources, Bin, and select the XXMI Launcher.exe. Click on Save. Now we need to open up XXMI Launcher. Select the games you want to mod and install the appropriate modding tool. If the detection of the game folder has failed, we need to set it up manually. For this, click on Change, go to My Computer, go to C, Program Files, Play, Games, and select the right game folder. 
confirm and retry your installation. Repeat these steps for all other games. can now start every game and see if the modding tool has loaded. If one Kaisari crashes like here, don't worry, that's expected. Open up the XSMI launcher again. Then click on the settings symbol. Go to advanced. Custom launch. And now you will need to head to our Discord and copy down a specific command to make the game working. Once you paste your command, click on confirm and try starting again. We can see the motto has successfully loaded. Now's the time to install mods for the games. Right click on the XML launcher and browse files. Go to Drive C, Program Files, and XML launcher. In here, you will see the Gimme folder, which stands for Genshin Impact, the SRMI folder, which stands for Honga Starrel, the ZZMI folder, which stands for Zenless on Zero. Open up the game folder you downloaded your mod for, then click on mods and extract the mod into the irrespected folder. It should look like this. You can delete the archive and close out of the file explorer. That's in theory enough to get up and running with mods. You would just need to launch XSMI launcher and start the game you want to have modded. In the case of the Steam Deck, it's good to have a quick launch option, which won't be showing this menu for every single game. In order to create a direct shortcut for the game, we need to right-click on XSMI launcher and duplicate it. Now name it with the appropriate game. Right-click and click on configure. In game options, we need to add the following arguments. Gimme is for Genshin, SRMI is for Hongai Starrel, and ZZMI is for Zendes on Zero. In this case, we want to create a Genshin Impact shortcut, which will be Gimme. This shortcut will directly launch the game without showing you the launcher. I will do this for the last two games as well.
Now let's create a Steam shortcut for easy access for every one of these shortcuts. For the future, you can use HoyoPlay to update your games, XXMI Launcher to update your mod loaders, and the game shortcuts to play your games. Now you can add some custom images, these will be linked in the description, to predify your shortcuts. Now let's restart Steam and test everything in game mode. Now back in Steam, we need to press the Steam button, go to the library and go to non-steam. Here should be our shortcuts we created earlier. Now start the game you want to play. In the game to reload mods you can press F10 and to toggle between mods you can press F6. We can see it's working. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Linux tutorials and modding guides. Join our Discord for additional support and check the description for useful links. See you in the next one.